Hey everybody, this is Glenn from uh, Glenn Reptiles here. I thought I'd show you a few of the snakes that I have. Um, I think I'm going to focus on a couple of rear fanged species today. So first I wanted to start with uh, the um, Baron's Racer. This is a female that I have who is not yet bred, but I think is about the right size to breed moving forward. So uh, she's green phase and uh, these guys are fascinating animals. Although they're rear fanged, they've never once seem to uh, be interested in biting. Although they are a little flighty and quick, um, they are not aggressive and uh, they seem to do really well in captivity. Beautiful green girl with a pointy nose. So yeah, this is uh, my green girl. I got uh, her from Chris Sharp um, and yeah, I've really grown to love these snakes. They're a fun snake to, to take care of. And um, as you can see, they, they get reasonably big and uh, are very beautiful. So she's certainly not done growing. She is a young adult, but she's pretty big for a young adult. I'm often accused of feeding my snakes a lot. And that is only because I feed them a lot. So, uh, here is a, a blue phase, uh, same uh, species. Um, this is a, a Baron's Racer that I got from Nick Pooter. And uh, it is, uh, you can see how much more blue this guy is than the one that I'm going to be breeding him with. But uh, he's developing his colors. Interestingly, these guys don't start blue. They start out kind of a a dark army green and then they develop their blue as they mature and kind of a teal blue um, there's a bit of variation in these snakes um, both in the shade of green and blue and also the degree to which they have a, a, a black line running down their dorsal um, uh, this dorsal stripe can be very black or faint or non-existent um, so they're fun species, as you can see. Uh, they're not going to uh, ball up in your lap like a ball python. <laughs> um, they are pretty active, um, but they are not uh, biters. Even pulling them out of the cage, they, they're not interested in biting. Um, they do have a tendency to want to make a run for it. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're not spastic when you pull them out. They just always want to climb away. So very fun species. Fascinating to work with and again these guys are rear fanged um, Let me show you my other rear fang species and it's one that I uh, Started a while back because I stumbled into one um, and I Just fell in love with it and I'd never seen them before which is partly why I bought it and that is the Madagascar cat-eyed snakes these guys are rear fanged and um, This girl happens to be in her water right now, so she'll be a little bit wet but um, this is a proven female. Um, this is about as big as they get. Um, she's a pretty good sized adult female. And this is a gold phase. And they've got really cool nocturnal cat type eyes. And uh, they're very docile, as you can see, even though they're, 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 their face makes them look like they wouldn't be. Um, you know, they've got uh, the bigger head and the, the crazy eyes, and I think people tend to be a little intimidated by them. But she is every bit as mild as the most mild corn snake I have, as well as all my um, Madagascar cat eyes are. Um, that is not universally true. I know people who have cat eyes that are not mellow, but I think in most cases those are wild caught. Um, but I've never produced one, and I've produced hundreds of these. I've never produced one that I would consider anything but very mild-tempered. Um, so anyway, this is one of my females, um, beautiful snakes. Uh, let me show you my other female who will look a lot like this one. And also in the water. This is a time of year when they want to sit in the water to stay a little cooler. 
Um, and so this is my other one. She's a little bit darker, but I think that has more to do with uh, she's a little closer to shed than the other one. Um, they will actually change uh, not color as much as light and darkness throughout the course of the year. And uh, it's interesting, during the springtime, sort of breeding season, they will get really light colored. Really, it's the, I think that's the most beautiful time of the year for them. Um, and then after they get gravid, um, they'll darken up and they'll stay dark until the next spring. Um, so this is my other female. And just for comparison, full-grown male, these guys are long-time breeders, so they are as big as these snakes get. But you can see the male is significantly smaller um, than the female. They are sexually dimorphic in size. And so uh, it's pretty easy once they're full grown to tell them apart. But pattern wise, color wise, uh, there are no differences in the genders. So here's my male. He's a cool little guy. One of the challenges with keeping these, these snakes is they will go off feed for long periods of time, especially the males. Um, this guy will not feed for months on end, multiple times a year. You can see he's thin, but not too skinny. Um, he eats when he needs to, but uh, he's just uh, mostly interested in breeding. And if he's not uh, hungry, he doesn't eat. And so, yeah, these guys are interesting. I wish I had a similar sort of discipline as these guys so he eats when he needs to not all the time like some of us and some of my other snakes do uh, so there's a couple of uh, different sets of rear fangs that i have um, and i'll be making some videos to kind of show some of the different snakes i have for people who are interested in fact you know what um, i will quickly show one other rear fanged i just found out they were rear, rear fanged um, and that is uh, the spotted whipped snakes, whip tails. Is that right? <laughs> here they, here is this little girl, and she's a normal, so she does not have the blackhead trait. But this is what the normal looks like. Got these um, from Johnny Black out of New York. And I'll show you the blackhead one, which is incredible, fascinating colubrid. Um, I understand these guys come from a line in, from Kazakhstan. So here's this girl. I'll be gentle with her. She just ate last night. But you can see that blackhead is pretty impressive. Just a fun, fascinating snake. So... There they are. So yeah, I just found out these guys were rear fanged. I'm trying to think if I have other rear fanged snakes in my collection right now. And I might, but I can't think of any. So <laughs> just looking around. Um, so anyway, that's what I have now. Um, I'll keep you posted on more things as time goes on, but uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. And thanks for tuning in.